Hi, I'm Allie Sealander with UTD Geo News, and I'm here to tell you about a strong earthquake that shook Idaho recently. Idaho is a beautiful mountainous state in the northwestern U.S. It's something of a frontier state, large in size and small in population. Idaho is known for its year-round outdoor sports and for growing potatoes. More recently, Idaho was in the news because of a strong earthquake that shook it a little before 6 in the afternoon on March 31, 2020. Fortunately, no one was killed or injured, and there was very little damage. The earthquake had a magnitude of 6.5, with an epicenter in the mountains 45 miles west of a small town named Chalice. It was the second largest earthquake in Idaho history, and occurred in the most seismically active part of Idaho. This is near where the state's biggest earthquake occurred in 1983, the magnitude 6.9 Bora earthquake. The 1983 earthquake caused a visible scarp, but no scarp is yet reported for the 2020 earthquake, although the region is currently blanketed in snow. The nearby mountain town of Stanley has urged people to stay away in order to protect its 65 residents from potential coronavirus exposure. So this has made it hard for scientists to see what has happened there. What else do we know about the 2020 Idaho earthquake? According to Glenn Thackeray at Idaho State University, the March 31st earthquake looks like it was on a fault that actually cuts across the end of the Sawtooth Fault. The Sawtooth Fault is fairly large and active in this area. The USGS reports that the earthquake was caused by about 1 meter or 3 feet of movement on a fault at about 20 kilometers or 12 miles deep in the crust. The USGS also calculates focal mechanism solutions, which can be used to constrain what kind of faulting happened and the orientation of the fault which caused the earthquake. Their calculations show that this earthquake was caused by strike slip faulting, where two crustal blocks slide past each other. This could either be a right lateral slip on an east-west trending fault, or left lateral slip on a north-south fault. Because the March 31st earthquake seems to lie on a north-south fault, we suspect that a left lateral slip fault caused the earthquake. Let's compare the focal mechanisms for four recent U.S. earthquakes in California, Utah, Texas, and Idaho. The strike slip nature of the Idaho earthquake is similar to that of the July 4, 2019 magnitude 7.1 Ridgecrest, California earthquake. But the earthquakes that occurred in March 2020 in both Magna, Utah and Mentone, Texas have focal mechanism solutions that point instead to normal faulting, where the crust is stretched apart. Both strike slip and normal faulting is expected in the region around the Basin Range province of the western United States, where stretching and sliding has been going on for millions of years. Things are getting back to normal in Idaho, earthquake-wise, although there have been almost 300 small aftershocks in Idaho since the March 31st earthquake. Further research is needed before we know more about what caused this interesting earthquake and what is shaking in the seismically active central Idaho region. I'm Allie Sealander, and I'll see you on the next Geo News.